Everybody knows that one person in class that loves to put other people down. I mean, this guy right here. Yeah, this guy. His name was Mark. And he was a sneakerhead, okay? I mean, this guy loved Jordans. This man had over 15 pairs of Jordan collections at home. I mean, it was insane. Every day he came to class, he always wore a new pair of Jordans. So as he's talking to the other classmates, I walk in and I sit down. And then he looks at my shoes and notices something. He notices that I've only been wearing Nike and Vans this entire year. So he puts me on the spot and asks me in front of the class why I only like wearing Nike and Vans. Because here's the thing, y'all. He was right. I do only wear Nike and Vans. But, but it wasn't because I just didn't like any other brand. No, no, no. I just, I just like to stick to those two because I just they were my favorite, I guess. Plus, Jordans were expensive. That's why I didn't even bother buying them. Then this guy tries to embarrass me. Bro, all you wear are Nike and Vans. I, I know times are tough. But I mean, are you? Are you broke? Nah, chill, chill. I could get Jordans if I wanted to, all right? You're not the only one. I just don't care about them. Oh, okay. Hmm. You just don't care about them. I'm, I'm just a little curious. What's your parents' yearly salary? Matter, matter of fact, matter of fact, I can get some pair of Jordans by, by Monday. So basically, y'all, I gave in. All right, I gave in. It was a Friday, and I told this man that I would get some new Jordans by Monday. And since my parents don't like buying expensive shoes because they don't see the value in them, which I don't blame them, I could use some of my money and combine it with my parents' money. And then, boom, I'd have my new Jordans. I mean, how much could they really be? But there was one problem. I was broke. I remember I spent a lot of my money on video games, so I really didn't have that much money left. So I decided I was going to buy some affordable Jordans, okay? The next day, I spent so much time doing research on Jordans. Because remember, I wasn't a sneakerhead. I didn't really know what shoes were popular or, or what shoes weren't when it came to Jordans. Because, like, I mean, I, I never really bought Jordans before. So I was doing my research. You know, I, I had to step it up. So as I'm researching, I stumble across the Air Jordan Red Show 6 shoes. And <laughs> y'all, I can't even lie. <laughs> These shoes just look like regular shoes. Okay, I mean, I, I didn't see nothing special. I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't really too big on like, you know, trying to get popular shoes and I mean, as long as they look nice, I'll get them. But, I mean, Jordans in general, I, I didn't really get what the hype was. And I still don't. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're good shoes. They look nice, but, like, but not nice enough to the point where I'm a joke on somebody for not having them. Or have a confidence booster because I got them. Like, I, I, didn't, I just didn't see what the hype was. I finally walk into the shoe store, right? And it didn't take me much long to find the Air Jordan Red Show 6. And now that I've seen them in person, I started liking these shoes even more. For some reason, it seemed like Jordans gave people superpowers, okay? And I wanted the taste of it. I got tired of having to worry about people finding out that I only wear the same two brands of shoes. I mean, I, I, just, I, I just said, you know what? Let me just get something different so I can shut Mark up. So I grabbed them. I never told my mom the price. And the reason why was because she's bought me expensive shoes before. Not, not this expensive, but still. So we walk over to the cash register. And that's when everything went downhill. Your total comes out to $899.98. The shoes didn't really cost that much, y'all. But in my mom's mind, she may as well have heard the cashier say $899. All right, I had to return the shoes and we left. It was a sad Monday morning, y'all. My alarm goes off, and before I could get up and get ready for school, my mom calls me over to the living room. She tells me that she has a friend at work that had a pair of basketball shoes that her son didn't want anymore, and that she offered them to her for free. Now, you know, I, I was kind of suspicious because, first of all, if these shoes were legit basketball shoes, all right, and they were popular, then why would her son, my mom's friend's son, give them to me? For free. <laughs> the math don't add up. The math don't add up. And secondly, my mom and her friends don't know anything about basketball shoes. 
So there's no way that these shoes could be, you know, nice. So I grab the shoe box. I take a look inside. And then I lost it. It was over, y'all. It was over. I'm getting roasted for sure. And the worst part was I couldn't even tell my mom I didn't like them. Because I didn't want to come off as ungrateful. And I couldn't even swap shoes because I don't ride the school bus. My mom picks me up from school so she would know if I swapped my shoes. I had no choice but to wear them. A few minutes later, I'm walking down the hallway of my school. And I, I was literally walking to my death. Yo, yo, I mean, this was my face, y'all. This is the face of a man that has accepted defeat. I walked past my best friend. I didn't even say a word. I could already hear my teacher's music echoing throughout the hallway. I knew that one day I would get them Jordans, but just not today. You know, so might as well just embrace it and just get ready for the roast session, you know. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time I got roasted. So I just kept on walking. I, I, I told them that I would walk into class with some new Jordans. But instead, I was walking into class with some... <laughs> I'll let you guys see for yourselves. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Hey, Steve! What, what are those? <laughs> Today. Come on, y'all. Y'all so childish. Are y'all done? <laughs> I walked into class with some protégés. I don't even know if I'm saying the name right, but that's what I did. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, everybody was laughing. Uh-huh. Hell, I was probably laughing at my damn self, unconsciously. But you know what? I, I took it. I, I, I took it. I ended up spending the last 30 minutes of my class in the bathroom. Okay, I told my teacher that I had to use the bathroom. But in reality, I just went there just to hide. Because, I mean, the, the, the jokes were just too much, y'all. 